Hi guys, welcome to the lesson. We are starting on page 33 today with a new verb tense, the future perfect continuous tense. You have learned the future perfect, remember? So, today we are using, uh, learning, sorry, the future perfect continuous. What does it mean? It's still perfect, so we have the auxiliary have, will have in the future, okay? Plus the verb to be, okay, the participle of the verb to be, and then the verb that you want with ing, okay, because ing shows that it is continuous. Let's read the explanation and some examples here, it becomes more clear, okay? Remember that we use the future perfect simple to show that an action will happen at some point between now and the future time. Okay? Remember that? For example, I will have finished my homework by 9 o'clock. What does this mean? It means that before 9 o'clock, I will have finished my homework. My homework will be finished. Okay? We use the future perfect continuous when we are looking back to the past in relation to a point in the future. Okay? So, past in relation to the future. Okay? The, the future perfect simple is the present in relation to the future. Future perfect continuous, the past in relation to the future. Okay? And we want to emphasize the length or the duration of an action, okay? We form the future perfect continuous with subject, will have been, every time, will have been, and the verb with ing. So, we have some examples. The secretary will have been studying at this school for 10 years in December. So, she already studies here, she is still studying, she will study until December. That This is what the sentence communicates. The secretary will have been studying at this school for 10 years in December. I will have been studying English for 3 years by the end of this year. I have studied English, I still study English, by the end of this year, the period, the duration of my English studies will be three years. I will have been studying English for three years. When? By the end of the year. Okay? We can use shall instead of will, however, this form is rarer, okay? The negative form of shall is shan't. For example, I shan't have been doing enough cooking practice by the time the TV show starts. Okay? That's not very common, guys. So, let's go to our new content, the vocabulary. Okay? Let's repeat. Meant. Whole grain. To let down. Let, let, let. To pile high. To toast. To top with. Toast. Parmesan cheese. To drizzle. Honey. Maple syrup. I slice. To slice. Corridor. Sap. To suck. Okay, guys, mint is a herb <clears throat> that uh, here in Brazil is very common that we make tea, tea, mint tea, okay? And it's also very common to put mint in pineapple juice. It's very popular here in Brazil, okay? So mint is a herb. Whole grain is a kind of food that has uh, entire grains inside. For example, you know those types of uh, bread that are considered healthy because they are whole, 
Whole means entire, okay? So whole grain is the adjective we give to this type of bread. We say, oh, this bread is whole grain. It contains whole grains inside it. To let down, guys, is a synonym for disappoint. To disappoint, to let down. To pile high is to put things one on top of the other. Pile high. This is normally what people do in their bedrooms, especially teenagers. Uh, what they take when they come home, they take off their clothes and they let let it on the floor, right? So they pile high. Okay, they pile the, their clothes high. To toast, guys. To toast means um, to make bread. Uh, we we put it in a warm uh, thing, in a warm equipment or device or in, in a pan, on a pan, okay? We make the bread warm and we turn it uh, brown or golden, okay? It becomes uh, a little bit harder, okay? Uh, to top with, it means to put something on top. For example, oh, I like to top my cakes with uh, marshmallow, I don't know, okay? Or with uh, chocolate syrup. Okay, toast. Toast, guys, has two meanings. A toast can mean um, the bread, okay, the hard golden bread. Or a toast can also be a short speech, uh, for example, in a marriage, normally the best man makes a toast to the bride and groom. Okay, it's a short speech and everybody raises their glasses and they say cheers, health to the couple, okay? This is a toast too. Okay, Parmesan cheese is a type of cheese which has a very similar name in Portuguese. To drizzle uh, is uh, when it rains, but very finely, very small drops, okay? And from this meaning, to drizzle is when we put uh, something in very small drops or in very delicate lines, something liquid, for example, on top of a cake, okay? For example, we make a uh, chocolate, uh, some chocolate to put on top of a cake, Okay, we can drizzle it. If it's liquid, okay, we can drizzle it. Okay, honey. Honey is also something that we can use to drizzle uh, bread or pancakes. Okay, honey is something that bees produce. Okay, it's very sweet. Some people like to sweeten their um, tea with honey. Okay? Okay, maple syrup. Mapo, guys, is a tree. It's a tree very similar to the ones that we have here in Campos do Jordão, okay? Mapo is uh, a tree that uh, the origin is Canada, okay? They are native from Canada. And the maple syrup is uh, a syrup that they take out of this tree, okay? And it looks like honey, but it has a very distinctive taste, okay? A slice is a piece. But not like a piece, uh, a piece of my pen. This is a piece of my pen. Not this. A slice is like a slice of cake. A slice of pizza is one piece of pizza, one piece of cake. Okay. A slice. To slice is the verb. Okay. To make it into slices. Coriander is a. Uh, Vegetable, it's a plant that many people use to flavor the food. Okay, it's this one. This is coriander. Okay, we use the plant and we use its seeds to, some people like to use the seeds to flavor the food. Sap is liquid uh, that carries all the nutrients that a tree needs. Okay, so it's a liquid that it is inside um, the tree and it carries the nutrients, the food that the tree needs, 
uh, to all parts of the tree. We could say that it's the blood of the tree, okay? To suck. To suck means uh, to pull a liquid with a straw. You know, straws are not very popular nowadays, but normally when we buy a can of Coke, for example, uh, a few, uh, not a long time ago, but a few months ago, we could find straws, okay, to put inside the can and suck the soda, okay, to your mouth. To suck, in another uh, meaning, also can mean something that is unpleasant or something that is bad, okay? Very good. So, let's repeat. Pineapple juice with mint is one of her favorite drinks on a hot summer day. He topped his pasta with parmesan cheese, coriander, and black pepper. I don't want to let you down, but it's drizzling outside and I don't want to get wet. By my next doctor's appointment, we will have been using whole grain flour for over three months. Using whole grain flour when making pancakes is considered better for you than white flour. She piled high the dirty clothes, hoping that the drizzling rain would stop by tomorrow. He will have been slicing fruit for the party for two hours by the time the other chef arrives. Do you want to put honey or maple syrup to make the cake sweeter? Let's practice. Don't forget to pause the video before I answer the question, okay? Very nice. Poe and Mary have been living together for more than two years by the time their baby arrives. No, Poe and Mary won't have been living together for more than two years by the time their baby arrives. What do people do when they give a speech at a wedding? People normally toast the newly married couple when they give a speech at a wedding. How long will you have been studying English for by the end of this year? By the end of this year, I will have been studying English for 10 years. Where does maple syrup come from? Maple syrup comes from Canada or the USA and is the sap from the maple tree. In your family is the type of person who wouldn't let you down. My sister is the type of person who wouldn't let me down in my family. What does Martin put on top of his pancakes? Martin drizzles honey or maple syrup on top of his pancakes. Is it common for people to eat slices of toast for breakfast in America and the UK? Yes, it's common for people to eat slices of toast or for breakfast in America and the UK. What type of ingredients are mint and coriander? Describe their smell, sorry. Mint and coriander are herbs and have a strong, fresh smell. How long will he have been piling high those old books by tonight? He will have been piling high those old books for more than five hours by tonight. Do you like to suck mints after lunch? Yes, I like to suck men's after lunch. 
when Joseph had been letting his mother down with his low grades for over three semesters by the end of this school year. Yes, Joseph will have been letting his mother down with his low grades for over three semesters by the end of this school year. What did the doctor recommend for her sore throat? The doctor recommended sucking honey sweets for her th sore throat. What do people normally use parmesan cheese for? People normally use parmesan cheese to top their pasta with. Will whole grain ingredients have been growing in popularity by 2030? Yes, I think whole grain ingredients will have been growing in popularity by 2030. What did Kate ask her son to do? Kate asked her son to pile high, pile high I'm sorry, I will repeat. Kate asked her son to pile high the pieces of toast on the plate and give it to his little brother to eat. Losing sap from a tree is an unusual ingredient to put on top of food. Yes, I think sap from a tree is an unusual ingredient to put on top of food. How long will the Parmesan cheese have been in the fridge by the time it is sent to the restaurant? The Parmesan cheese will have been in the fridge for over three months by the time it is sent to the restaurant. Guys, thank you very much. This was today's lesson and enjoy. See you. Bye-bye.